Level 400, the highly coveted and sought after highest prefix color currently obtainable. Being yellow, you will instantly attract the admiration of everyone around you. One problem, the billions upon billions of coins and thousands upon thousands of hours needed to obtain it. Having spent easily over 10 billion coins on levels up to this point, and over 3,000 hours of grinding, this is no small achievement. And today, I will be capping it off and finally getting level 400. And hey, this video took easily over 200 hours to record. I started recording it in December. January is almost over now, so I would greatly appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. If we can get 2,500 likes on this video as well as an additional 1,500 subscribers within the next seven days, I'll give away 100 million coins. So make sure to comment your IG and join my Discord server for that. I'll be giving away 50 mil in each of those places. Now stop letting me delay you and go watch me do whatever this is for an hour and 15 minutes straight. You're welcome. It's time to spend some money. In my effort to be good at this game and have a high skyblock level, all that jazz, I, it's time I go for level 4. 400. And, you know, I've been doing a little bit of research and a little bit of paying attention to the game, various things like that, and I believe there's one thing that we can do first in order to gain a ton of Skyblock XP really early on. So recently, in this building right here, the Pet Care expansion was added, and in here we can find an NPC called George. Now I have done a little bit of stuff in here, like I talked to Hootie, I got the new contact, I bought all the slots, got a couple XP that way, but the biggest thing we need from this is taming 60, which is not particularly cheap, but I already have taming 52 out of 60, so we only need another 8 levels. So I believe what we should need next is an epic spirit. Yeah, epic spirit. And I believe these are more expensive than their legendary counterparts, because why not? See, so yeah, lowest spin is 11 mil, and the lowest spin on a legendary is 5.7 mil. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna buy this one, and we should be able to go in here give this to George, and yep, there we go, taming level 53, we get 30 skyblock XP from that, as well as some extra pet luck. All right, now we need an epic giraffe, which I don't think this should be too bad. It is just a giraffe after all. Yeah, 8.9 mil, that's basically nothing get in my inventory, and we can give this to George. There you go. And look at that, we already got a skyblock level 386. I should also mention, starting this video, I was 385, and now we're 386. Uh, but next up, we need an epic jellyfish. I remember on update day, these jellyfish were absurdly expensive. Did I read that right? I'm sorry, I have this sorted by lowest price, right? That doesn't seem correct. That, that doesn't seem right. Why, why, Huh? I excuse me, why is it 109 mil? Okay, I just asked my guild, and apparently that is genuinely the price. A jellyfish is 100 million coins. I don't understand this game sometime. Just g give me the jellyfish. Yeah, thank you. I'm sorry, is that only taming 55? Oh no. Okay, well next we need an epic bow, which should not be super expensive, considering these things get dropped to the left and right. Yeah, 20 million coins, not too bad. And take this, taming level 56, and next we need epic baby yeti. Okay, those will be incredibly cheap because, I mean, it's December right now, a ton of people are yeti fishing. Yeah, they're, they're 2 million coins. Okay, just, yep, yeah, yeah. take the baby yeti. There you go. We get 57 and another level up 387. Oh, legendary black cat. That is going to hurt. Honestly, not as bad as I thought. 50 mil. And there you go. Get taming 58. Rare frost wisp. I don't think that should be horribly expensive. Nope, never mind. They've jumped in price by quite a lot. But still, 32 million coins. I will take it. It is skyblock XP. And there we go. 59. And wow, another level up. I've gotten three levels from this already. And yeah, the final one, we need a mythic enderman. Right, so if we search up enderman right here, I am not sure if it'd be more worth worth it for me to buy a legendary enderman and upgrade it myself, or just buy an outright a mythic. Okay, so lowest spin is about 50 mil, we'd pay an additional about 3 mil for a mythic, and then an enderman cortex rewriter is uh, like 2 coins, so yeah, we're just gonna buy the legendary, which has already been bought, okay, so we'll buy th the next one, yep, there we go, and then we can get an enderman cortex rewriter off the bazaar, and uh, yeah, there we go, alright, and then we'll just need a cat flower because I am not waiting an hour. Hello, cat. Take my flower. Thank you. All right, and I accidentally put it in my pet menu. Where did it go? There we go. And George, take the Enderman. There you go. You absolute scammer, you. But yeah, there we go. We have Taming 60. In total, we got, I, I think it's three levels from that. About three and a half. This gave an insane amount of XP. Okay, so I had like the entire intro and everything planned out for this video, and now I'm fully at a loss of what to do. Actually, never mind. I remembered what I was going to do. So for later down the line, I actually need to sell this rod right here. It'll 
make sense later. Or it'll make sense now if you watch my last video. Uh, but yeah, we just need to go up here. Hellfire Rod. And what is the lowest spin looking like? So there does not appear to actually be a Flash 5 Fishing Speed Trophy Hunter on the AH. I could probably get away with listing it for 760 mil, I would say. And then duration, we'll just put it up for like 14 days. Hopefully it'll sell before then. 20 mil creation fee. Ouch. Ah, we'll, we'll just we'll just do it. We don't need that 20 mil anyway. Now that I listed that rod and successfully got distracted strolling Twitter for 20 minutes, I started recording this at 11 p.m. Don't judge me. I, I think we need to go do some essence shops. Some new stuff has been added since I, you know, last went maxed all of those out and I have money. Let's spend it. First of all, I'm just gonna use this Discord bot to see what exactly I'm actually missing. So it appears I'm missing some stuff in the spider shop as well as the dragon shop and apparently something in the ice essence shop. I believe that is it as far as what you call it go. I suppose we should start with the spider essence shop, which I may or may not have just warped the nest, looked around, did not realize why or when I had appeared there, and yeah, it's late at night. I am kind of going mildly insane, but hello, spider tamer. So yeah, the only one we don't have max is toxophilite. That's how you say that, probably. But we will just need a little bit of spider essence. Uh, it really isn't all that expensive. I'll buy a little bit, and we will see how far this gets me. No, I need another 15 100. All right, I'm gonna get the fourth upgrade. I think this goes up to level five. And for that, we will need 3,000 and 5.7 mil, not horrible. And there we go. All right, and then we need 5,000 and 9.5 mil, still not awful. And yep, there we go. And then on the Jerry Island, I appear to have missed something in here, which I didn't think I had, but... Oh, Drake Piper. That actually would have been really useful when I was bestiary fishing, but it's only 2,000 ice essence, which is really not a lot. And I, I just clicked the, the, the wrong one. I was buying hunks of ice, not ice essence. I just stared at that in disbelief. Four mil. And Drake Piper. Yeah, there's, there's only one tier of it. Okay, cool. Also, just out of curiosity, where am I on the levels leaderboard right now? So up here, number 728. Okay, I am not doing too shabby. All right, then last essence shop should be down here. Talk to this guy right here. And I already have most of this max. We're just missing Unbridled Rage. And then Dragon Essence, it's a little bit more expensive. We'll just start out with 10,000 of it for 30 million coins. And one, two, three, four, and... Five? No, I don't have enough for five. Okay, I need another 2,500. All right, 7.3 mil. And there we go. That should be the last of the essence shops. And we are 11 XP off of Skyblock level 388. So I think the next thing we'll do is I'm actually extremely close to the next foraging level, which that will give me 20 Skyblock XP when I level up. And that will push me over the edge to the uh, very next level. So I just so happen to have done a little bit of semi AFK foraging during derpy so i have some of the foraging gear available currently now i'm not going to do any kind of fancy rod swapping or anything because uh, my monkey is only level one so it would barely be worth it so i'm just going to run around with an ocelot for this to be a little bit easier on my brain if i ever do manually foraging 50 i will buy a level 100 monkey and to sell this one but other than that i think that's all i need other than young dragon which i have a really old set of young dragon but put this on and warp to the park and now we will do the ever so fun task of breaking logs yeah, this is entertaining gameplay. Totally. Yeah, just g give me like 20 minutes. I think it is safe to say that I hate many leaf and and I, I hate this and it's going to give me brain damage competing against other people who just will not leave me alone and <laughs> I'm gonna go insane. Uh, there we go. There we go. Foraging level 40, we get 20 Skyblock XP and another level up to 389. Okay, cool. I'm out of ideas now and I, I don't know what to do for Skyblock levels. It's 12 a.m. and I'm not going to have good ideas. You know what? Skyblock guide, what do you have to say for me? So I'm missing some stuff and skilled. I could drink refined bottles of Chire. I also need another two museum donations, apparently. Uh, which actually, that's it for skilled. I'm, I'd be down to drink some bottles of Chire. Might as well just get the first one over with now. And I will put in a buy order for four of them for 14 mil. And then I will just insta buy one to drink right now. That's the annoying thing about bottles of Chire is it takes a total of five hours to get all of these drunk. But 
there we go. In 60 minutes, I will be able to drink another one. Oh, oh, somebody bought my Hellfire Rod. Already. I was not expecting that to sell that fast. Oh, I have money now. Yo, I can do, I can finally finish Diamond Hunter. Okay, we will do that in a second. Anyways, I also need two museum donations, which let me scroll through here real fast and see what the best thing to donate would be. Wow, there is um nothing cheap. I feel like those two museum donations are not worth it just to get this done, and therefore I will not be doing it. Apparently, there's also something called Wriggling Larva. Oh, those are expensive. Let me buy one. All right, how many of these can I eat? Swallowed the Larva. Wasn't so bad. It gives me five Skyblock XP? Uh, yes, please. All right, another one. All right, feel a bit queasy? I mean, it's five Skyblock XP. And another one. I don't know how many of these I can eat. All right, I swallowed it whole. That's kind of nasty. And okay, I can do five total. And another one. I swallowed the Larva whole. I won't do it for a small stat increase. This is truly revolting. Oh, what won't you do for a small stat increase? Y yeah, no, I will do a ton of things for a small stat increase. Also, I think I'm gonna donate the Synthesizer V3. I might as well. I mean, 60 mil, it isn't terrible. And pop that in there, and we get a museum reward. Eh, it's only 10 Skyblock XP. The next one would be 16 Skyblock XP, which, uh, and, and we would need Elegant Tuxedo for that. How much is that from the NPC? Mm, you know what? Sure, we'll do it. Why not? Who needs money? And armor, you can go in there, and we get a museum reward again, 16 Skyblock XP. And it should also finish this little thing in skilled. No, never mind, I needed to donate a 655. Okay, cool. Not doing that. Okay, so something kind of cool I could do is I could finally break down and actually do the harp. So let's break down and do the harp. Okay, but before I go do the harp, let me just go buy a new Hellfire. Rod. I really don't need anything super crazy. I could probably survive. I'm like an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, double hook fishing speed 8 for 679 slash 5. I honestly might get this one. Unless there's a 9-9 nine, nine for relatively cheap. No, there aren't even any 9-9s nine, on the AH. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with this one. 679 mil. Get in my inventory. Now we do need to fix it up a little bit. Uh, first of all, I have a hatred of looting for on fishing rods. And this is just custom at this point is either you looting five it or you don't put looting four on there at all. It looks ugly. Also, that spirit rune has got to go. I don't know why it's on there, but it, it has to get off of it. Rune removal, and there we go. And I believe Pitchin gives more sea creature chance than Chomp. Chomp, in fact, does not give any sea creature chance, so I believe we'll keep Pitchin on there because my sea creature chance is a little bit mid, but for the time being, we can put that back in there. Um, so my game just crashed, but it it's, you know, time to do the harp. If we come all the way up here and inside my island right here, and then we turn left, we got a beautiful little personal harp. And well, let's just see what we can do. Uh, first of all, I do need to change my settings though. I need to make it so that middle click is on button one and attack and destroy is on button three. And then I can do this much easier. Okay, not the greatest first run, 86%, and it appears my Geometry Dash practice has not been helping. Oh well, just give me a minute, we'll see if I get some PBs. So I'm three attempts in, and I realized I'm way too tired for this. It's 1am, I'm just gonna go lie down and watch YouTube for a while. I will come back to this in the morning. Okay, so I woke up, tried the harp again, and realized I do not have the motivation to do this. I would rather do bestiary. I do not have enough skill for this. So I decided I'm gonna do something even more mind-numbing, and... And we're gonna go do McGrubber's Burgers. I currently have one of five McGrubber's Burgers eaten, and yeah, this is just gonna be a little while of grinding. So we just pop into the rift, and well, I'm gonna need to rearrange my inventory a little bit, but yeah, we're gonna need to do a little bit of grinding. Warp to the Stilgore Chateau, and I'll just be here for like the next 10 hours, don't mind me. What? I got an unfinged vampire part, why? My why? first boss too. It's money, but like, I, I want burgers and they're the same rarity. I was just kicked from the server and I'm recording this clip out here now. Yeah, I've been doing Vampire Slayer for like, I, I, I don't know, like four hours now. Still have not dropped a burger and I'm in pain. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do something else and we're gonna start going for golden fish. I have that new rod, I'm gonna use it. So yeah, I'm just gonna be grabbing this rod out of here and we're gonna go all the way over here, probably just barn fish a little bit. And I don't know, I might get a Jabba's party together, but yeah, just be steery fishing and hope I get a diamond and golden fish. Oh, oh, okay. Um, uh, Lord Jabus. Oh, I did. I, I didn't mean to kill it that fast. Okay. Magma lead fragment. Cool. All right. First golden fish of the day.
today, my guess is bronze. It, it, it was bronze. So now I've started flag blast fishing instead of regular bestiary fishing because, well, someone had a party and figured I might as well. And we just got a flag blast. Uh, apparently you only need seven of them to max the bestiary, so honestly, I might just go ahead and max it here. Really shouldn't take that long. I've only been here for like 20-ish minutes, I want to say. I've already gotten one. So with five people, this might go pretty quickly. Oh, uh, apparently there was another flag blast. I did not even see it. Alright, I just caught a I just caught a flag blast and we're we're spamming Hyperions. We're spamming Hyperions. Yep, yep. Uh, Hy Hyperions. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That that's it. I'm I'm out of mana. This this flag blast uh, die, please and thank you. There we go. Flag blast three out of seven. Okay, my Thunder Bestiary just leveled up, and look, I've got a bestiary milestone to claim. I just need to do it on a pet that I need XP on. Uh, sure, this lion will work. And we go in here, and we get ten Skyblock XP, and the lion levels up to ninety nine. Hello, Jabus. Ooh, I can magic find swap it. Yo, I magic find swapped it, and I got level five and nothing else. So I was streaming some dungeons earlier today, right? And I had to clip at this, but I had to restart my computer, and the footage got corrupted. Ignore that. But I hit level 390. I, I just leveled up my classes a couple times, and I hit level 390. You know, it's it's very fun, you know, just not realizing that you level up and then making a video about skyblock levels and not being able to record it. I'm currently in sad. Also, while I'm here on my island, uh, someone during that same stream gave me 26 Inferno minions and also some fuel for them. So if we come down here, we got two tier 5s and a bunch of tier 3s that are just boosting how fast these tier 5s go. Uh, but yeah, we can drop chili peppers. We're getting chili pepper collection. A little bit of skyblock XP. They only gave me fuel for one day though. But I don't know. Maybe we'll drop an Apex. So the minions have been down for a little bit. I don't think it's quite been the full duration of the, what you call it yet, the fuel, but I figured might as well go ahead and look in here. Oh, oh, okay. So first one, we have a Vertex. Anything in the chest? No, not really. So yeah, Vertex, I will go ahead and take that. And then second one, we have nothing good. I mean, to be fair, this one Vertex, it doesn't even pay off the fuel. Luckily, I, I was given the fuel as Contra, so don't need to worry about that. Uh, but yeah, now why we're all here, the Chili Peppers. So we collect that, and there we go, we get Chili Pepper 1, and we can actually craft the Reheated Gummy Bear now. And oh, I might be able to get to Chili Pepper 2 as well, which... That will be 8 Skyblock XP total. Should we go in here? 16 Chili Peppers? Yeah, Chili Pepper 2. Yeah, there we go. Just a free 8 Skyblock XP. And now we still have 6 hours left on the fuel, so I'll come back after that's done. Uh, I just I just got a Golden Fish Gold. Why? Why couldn't it just be a diamond? I don't want to do this. So I've randomly had the urge, you know, work on the harp again. It gives a lot of XP, and I just want to get it done. So give me a little bit. Okay, so first attempt. 97%. Looking good. 99%. 99. Oh, oh, I, I did it. I did it. 100%. It gave me 12 XP. That definitely didn't take like 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, oh, I did it. All right, and now we just have the last one, which is Hoshel Bell, which in total we get I'm not good at math. A lot of XP. Uh, but yeah, let's just give this a shot, I suppose. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. That song is insanely easy compared to Through the Campfire. B why is it so much easier? First attempt, 94%. Genuinely, this thing is insanely easy. I just beat it on, on my sixth attempt. I I'm sorry, that song is just not hard. Excuse me? Why is it so much easier? It's <laughs> Okay, well, I have it done now. What is it tuning for? I, I, I don't know what this does. It it's a thing I have now. Well, now I'm 70 XP into 390. Honestly, I'd say that was pretty worth it. Oh, yeah, I also... I, I don't need this stupid thing anymore. It can just, yeah, go down there. I actually, actually, wait, no, my co-op might need that. Hold on. So I just noticed that I am, you know, missing some fairy souls. And I need two more fairy souls in order to get some Skyblock XP. I believe I'm currently missing the CH fishing ones and a couple dungeon ones, apparently. The dungeon ones are going to be a bit easier, so I'm going to go try to run F7 solo and find some of those. Oh, okay, okay. So the, I, I just clicked this fairy soul. It's not giving me the message, but uh, I, I didn't have it. Uh, but yeah, we're now at two. 39 fairy souls, and I was at 238. Okay, so this might actually be the last crypt that I need. Um, it's in the admin room, which I don't believe I've actually done any of the fairy souls in the admin room. So yeah, if we come over here and we click this, and I don't know, it's not giving me a message, but I do not believe that I've done this one. And yeah, there we go, 240 out of 243. Okay, cool, we should be able to claim some Skyblock XP now. All right, so if we run all the way over here, we can then, you know, come talk to Tia the fairy, and and yep, 5 out of 5 fairy souls, we get 10 Skyblock XP. Which, considering I was just at 78, I feel like it's supposed to be, you know, 88. But, you know, sure. So, I've been reporting for a couple of days, being a little bit afraid to spend money, 
and just doing some kind of useless grinds. Uh, but I have money. I think we need to spend it. It's time I go up a couple levels. First of all, I just woke up, so my voice is deeper than usual, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. But let's go over to the banker, and there's a little thing we can do. I currently have the luxurious account, and yeah, we're gonna upgrade to the palatial account. First of all, I need the palatial museum rank. So let's go to the museum and we're just gonna throw my Estrella in there for a second. So then we also need 200 gold blocks, which if we were to buy these, that would be 21 mil. That, that really isn't even bad. And then it's also gonna be an additional 200 mil on top of that, but it's 50 skyblock XP. And there we go, level 391. And we also are 39 XP into level 391. And well, hopefully I can get 392 by just spending a little bit of money. So on Discord over here, I can pull up my cheapest Skyblock XP, and I, I will just say it's a little bit ridiculous. First of all, like we have miscellaneous minion crafts, three Reaper Peppers are on the first page, and the fan contact is there for some reason even though I have it. And saying that little 392 is going to cost 257 mil, my goodness. And yeah, these just proceed to get increasingly more stupid, apparently to get level 3. 395, it would be 11.51 bill. Oh my goodness. Okay. We'll do a couple of these though. We'll do the minions and honestly, why not? We'll do the Reaper Peppers. So yeah, I've needed an excuse for a while to, you know, just go and eat some Reaper Peppers. Luckily, prices have fallen just a little bit, but three of these for a hundred, 134 bill. Y you know what? Sure. Can we consume the first one, eating a Reaper Pepper, and begun regretting this decision? It's 10 Skype like XP though. I've eaten a reaper pepper. Where is the milk? Um, my bad, my, my dad left with it. I've eaten a reaper pepper. Feel like death creeping up in your spine. Your whole life flashes by. Is this what it means to be in the game? I love minor stat increases at the cost of my health. This is fun, but we are now at 59 out of 100 XP. My, my purse also dropped from 750 mil to 400 mil. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Worst case scenario though, if I need money, I, I have this inner chest page. It's, um, you know, it's got a little bit of money in it, you know, probably just like three bill, you know, normal stuff. All right, I should be able to upgrade this tarantula minion to tier six. Unfortunately, there isn't an instant upgrade button. But if we put this in here, as well as the spider minion tier five with 14 tarantula silk, we get a tarantula minion tier six, and we get one sky black XP. We should be able to do the same thing for the tier seven, since I accidentally crafted a tier six. Uh, but for that, I believe we just need 28 tarantula silk. And that's eh, seven mil, not bad. Surround it. And we get a Tarantula Minion Tier 7, and we get two Skyblock XP. You know what? Honestly, I don't care about money. I'm just going to go ahead and Tier 11 this. We do not need money. All right, so for the Tier 8, it's going to be 56 Tarantula Silk, which that's going to be... 13 mil. That's really not bad. So just plop that in with the tier 7 spider minion and surround it and we will get a tier 8. And then for the tier 9, we're gonna need 112, which that is 27 mil. I mean, still not awful. Let me just slap this all in here and surround it a little bit more and we get a tarantula minion tier 9. For the tier 10, we're gonna need 224 tarantula silk, which, wow, that gets really expensive really quickly. But yeah, plop it in there with a tier 9 minion and we'll just surround it with a bunch of stuff and there we go a tier 10 which will give us 6 skyblock xp and the tier 11 we just need oh my goodness 7 stacks there's gonna be 448 or 112 million coins and my goodness just yeah we're gonna go ahead craft this so put the terra minion there spider minion there shift click all of this in tarantula minion tier 11 and we're now three skyblock xp off of 392 we also appear to be top 700 now we can also do voidling tier 11 which won't be horribly expensive or should i say it'll be horribly expensive but in terms of skyblock xp it's the cheapest thing i can do so for a tier 9 we're gonna need oh goodness a whole bunch to null avoids. 112 to be exact. 16 million coins. Oh boy. Uh, we just put the Voidly minion in there, surround it with some null ovoids, and I, I, I bought too many null ovoids. You know what? Voidly minion 9. We have 4 Skyblock XP from that, and we actually level up to 392. I also just realized I pulled a stupid. I crafted an Enderman tier 9. I forgot you need obsidian minions for these. Why does it alternate between obsidian minions and Enderman minions? 
No, I have another useless minion to throw in a chest. All right, I have the obby minion now, and we're gonna need a total of 214 mil ovoids for this, which 29 mil, it's not awful, but it's still pretty bad. But just plop everything in here, and we get a voidling minion tier 10. And the last one is simply seven stacks of mil ovoids, and I do actually get to use the enderman minion here. And that's gonna be 61 million coins. I'm beginning to regret my life decisions, but I don't know, plop it in there. Voidling tier 11. Also, I think the only minion I'm actually missing now might be the Inferno minion. So yeah, I only have this crafted up to tier 2, but I believe every single other minion I have crafted to the max. Yeah, I'm only missing the Inferno minion. So I was just looking through, like, all the things I need, and I forgot about the bottles of Gyre. I still need to drink four of these. And considering how long these take to drink, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy four of these, and they're just gonna stay in my inventory so that I can remember them. But then we can go ahead and drink one right now, and that will give me two Skyblock XP. Okay, so theoretically, I should be able to you know, just drink a bottle of gyre in VR. I already have an active bottle of gyre. That is cringe. I, I caught a Javis in VR. Hold on. Yes, I'm recording in VR. Hold on. Let me let me swap everything. I, this is so goofy. Literally the Nadia floor. All right. Do we get vile? Vile. We in vile. Fact, vile. Oh. We in fact do not get vile. Okay. So my bottle of gyre ran out. So I think we can drink a bottle of gyre in VR. I can't really see my um, keyboard, but a uh, bottle of gyre, but in VR. Oh, and I am out. I just I, I just typed off the ledge. Wonderful. Golden fish in VR. This is a thing that's happening. Silver. So, I just got back from work, meaning it's been five hours since my last bottle of gyre. And I only have one left, so we can get the last bottle in. And, yeah, just drink that. And I already have an active bottle of gyre. Do I have to be online the entire time? Oh, uh, that's annoying. Okay, so my bottle of gyre just expired. And we can drink another one, finally. Just, yep, there we go. And that's the last one, should be. Anyway, we're 26 out of 100. I'm beginning to think level 400 may take a little while. Oh, W, Lord Job is 8. We did not get a vial. So, I decided it's time to go for some bestiaries. In the midst of me being bored out of my mind going for golden fish, I'm also gonna, gonna randomly bestiary grind. And right now, Spooky Festival is about to happen, so I got three hours to do some spooky fishing. Oh boy. So after a solid three hours of spooky fishing, I've got a little bit of profit. I leave us in backpack 17, or is it 16? Yeah, it's backpack 16. So in total, we have 43 mil in there, which is a little bit insane. We ended up with six lucky hoofs, four vampire fangs, which are like basically nothing, two deep sea orbs, as well as some phantom rods, 17 soul fragments, apparently, a bat the fish, and we also have a piscary six. I didn't know I could make that much money fishing. I made that much money fishing. I also went from around 20-ish XP within this level, all the way up to 78. Uh, because of that, I'm, like, really motivated to grind Beastiary right now, and a new Astral Spit video just dropped, so I'm gonna watch that and grind Beastiary for a couple hours. So, yeah, editing me, I think it's time for a montage. So for some reason, I didn't get a level up message, and I'm now at 2 over 393. I just wanted a level up message, that's all I wanted. But hey, I have it now. And now I can do something other than bestiary for a little while. And that happens to be garden related. So I happen to have a little bit of copper saved up. 7,623 to be exact. And if we come over here, we have the composter. And in the composter, there are upgrades. And yeah, they cost a little bit of copper, but I have a little bit of copper, so we can get a little bit bit of Skyblock XP. So, yeah, a little bit of Skyblock XP. Let's do it. So, yeah, these upgrades really aren't all that expensive. This all cost me about 1.5 mil, and it gets me three Skyblock XP. The biggest thing is just the copper, because that cost me 750 copper. And, again, like, for all five of these, it was, like, two mil. That's it. And now the biggest thing is that it's going to cost me a lot, a lot of copper. And the copper price only keeps going up. And, again, the same story. Very little money, and a whole lot of copper. My goodness. I'm not even sure 
sure if I'll have enough copper to max the rest of this. Mm, no, I will, I will. That'll only be 2,500 copper. And we just do a little bit of clicking. And I only have 1623 copper left, my goodness. And I can only do three of these, oh boy. And these are actually starting to get a little bit more expensive. 16 golden carrots and three crappie just for one of them, which uh, still not bad by any means, but for one skyblock XP, it's getting up there. Four polished pumpkins, a mill, and we would also need 32 melon blocks and an additional three crappie to go with that. And now we just click the upgrade button a few times, and I'm out of copper. Although these upgrades are actually giving two XP per, which is really not bad. I might come back to the garden and do some more grinding later so I can do past bestiary as well as some just regular visitor grinding. But I'm currently sitting at 24 out of 100 XP, and I don't really know what I'm gonna do next. It's either gonna be golden fishing, burgers, or more bestiary. One of those. Okay, actually, random spurt of inspiration and an idea. I could forage. I'm foraging 40. I could totally do some manual foraging. It would be funny, and it would give me 20 scab black XP per level. I think I'm gonna do that. The one problem is that I actually need a good monkey first. Okay, so the cheapest level 100 is 89 mil. So I could do that, or, you know, I could just get one that's a decent level for, like, 50 mil. Yeah, this one's level 92, and I'd be saving 40 mil. I could just level it up myself. Yeah, no, I think I'll just take the minor debuff, and we'll just, get, yeah, give me this one. 57 mil, thank you. Also, since I have these, I might as well just plop a foraging XP boost on it, just to make this go a little bit faster. And there we go. And now I just need to set up a pet rule. Okay, so I don't know if this is right, and it might just be a double fishing hook thing, but I set it to throw fishing hook, summon the monkey, and when you gain forage and XP ocelot, I don't know, I might need to play around with it a little more. So I got it when I throw the fishing hook, it summons my monkey and then immediately summons my ocelot back, and... I think that works. If not, I'll just be doing it suboptimally. But, oh well, I do that a lot. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna forage for Acacia because it's significantly less contested. And with the less contested rates, you actually get similar rates to the Dark Oak Forest. It's a bit worse. But honestly, just for making it easier, it might just be worth it. Anyways, only 2.3 million XP to go. This will be short, definitely, totally. So with a little bit more fuel we have, we have now run them for one more day. And so in this one, we just have 25 chili peppers, which... Yeah, it didn't give me a collection. Very cringe. But in this one, first of all, we have a Vertex, and we have an additional 20 Chili Peppers, which will give me 4 Scabblack XP and Chili Pepper level 3. So I've been looking through my ways to gain Scabblack XP, and I found something. So it turns out I'm missing XP on Hootie upgrades. I, I didn't even know that. That will get me to the next level if I upgrade it. So per candy second slot or third slot per coin milestone. Uh, I need to figure this out. I don't exactly know how to upgrade Hootie. I guess we'll just grab a bunch of my cheap pets and an owl and see what happens. So I can put it in here and have an owl and then put, uh, I guess a skeleton? And if I put it on turbo, it costs me 3 million coins. And in one day it'll reach level 61. So what happens if we do that? Oh, it gives me skyblock XP. Oh, I, I guess you quite simply do need to just spend money. Which, yeah, that just gave me 5. So let me do that a couple more times. So I do this and I change it to turbo. Another 3 mil. Gives me more Skyblock XP, and let's do this one more time. Change it to Turbo, and again, 3 mil. Now that didn't give me any Skyblock XP. I wish it would just tell me what the coin milestones are. Yeah, no, I think it quite simply is I just need to spend more money. So I guess if I were to take this skeleton out, oh, it refunds me money. Okay, so if I click an owl pet in there, and then I swap it to Turbo again, and then we spend more money, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I may have to let it finish training. Okay, so it turns out there is a way to spend a lot more money a lot more quickly, so I'm I'm just gonna... Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna do something funny and just spend 50 mil on this. And uh, there there we go. We get 10 Skyblock XP and the next Skyblock level 394. And then, yeah, we're only missing 5 XP from this. Also, what would I get if I... Hmm. So you get about half back if I cancel it. Honestly, I could just refund it, do it again, and get another 5 Skyblock XP. So cancel that, and then we put it in there, and select training type. We just put that on turbo, till specific level, level 
100, and that will cost 49 million coins. Do it again. It, in fact, did not get me all the way there. Okay, let's do it with this skeleton horse then, I guess. So if I put it on turbo, and then I'm just gonna set it to five days, it'll charge me 14 million coins, start that, and it didn't get me to the next level. Come on, I, I'm so close. You know what, we'll do it with the skeleton. Put this in here, this in here, and again, turbo, we'll set it to five days. That should be 14 million. Please get me to the next level. Yep, there we go. Cool, I have the hoodie upgrades now. It may or may not have cost my entire purse, and I probably shouldn't have done that, but I have it now. I suppose it's back to foraging now. So I am 90% of the way to foraging 41, and I hate to say it, but I'm enjoying foraging. I don't know why, but I am. This is a feeling I don't understand, but it's here, and I've been foraging, and I'm enjoying it for some reason. I should have foraging 41 within the next 10-ish minutes. Uh, there we go. 41. We get 20 skyblock XP, and it's... Very, very nice. I think we're gonna go back to doing a golden fish and bestiary now. Ah, oh, goodness, that took a while. Forgot to record them, but I just got two bestiary milestones, and that means I can claim this, which is 1 million combat experience and 10 skyblock XP. Uh, so first of all, I need to equip a pet I want to put this on. Probably just this lion. I've been wanting to get this to level 100 for a while. If we go over here, we will be getting 10 skyblock XP, which takes us up to 34 out of 100. Oh, I just got it, Jabez. Okay, hold on. I'm like really leaned down in my chair. Let, let me put my stuff on. So we need armor. We need this stuff and a G-Drag. Where is the Greg? There's the Greg. All right, and then on this one, I can actually try to magic find swap because I got my day axe back. All right, hello, Javas. Would you like to come down here? But the plan is right now do a little bit of damage that these people can kill it, and then I'll swap to my hunter armor and then day axe. So yeah, we'll just get it past that phase. All right, cool. Now we swap to our hunter armor so it can't actually damage me. And yeah, now we can just sit here while they kill it. <laughs> it's so funny to see. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way I actually got that. There's no way. <laughs> By f the first Javas I actually magic find swapped on. There's no way. That wasn't even good magic find either. 144%. There's no way I got that. Oh my god. Dude. That's 245 mil. I... I <laughs> I'm sorry, that's- what? There's no way I dropped that. Okay. So, I appear to have gotten another Jabba, so you can see it all the way up there. Okay, cool. We got Jabba's bestiary. We did not get a radioactive vial. Unfortunate. I will take the bestiary, though. Hello, chat. I have gotten max lava fame bestiary. I'm surprised I maxed this one first. It's a, why did I max this one first, actually? That- interesting. Okay. So, I'm a little tired of trophy fishing. I'm gonna do another foraging level, or two, maybe three if I feel like it. And during that time, I'm actually going going to take this monkey pet and try to level it up to level 100 because I'll get a little bit more pet score for that, which will in turn give me three skyblock XP. And figured might as well while I'm doing this. So, uh, I, don't, I don't know, give me like six hours. Yo, level 90 monkey. Oh, I... My monkey hit 94. Nice. Foraging 42. And that will be giving me 20 skyblock XP. 50% uh, of the way to foraging 43. 75%. So I just hit foraging 43, and I did not realize I was actually recording my desktop audio during that, so now I'm re-recording it. Yay, you don't get my initial reaction. How lovely. Uh, but, but yeah, no, I, I need to do something else. I think I might go back to fishing, to be honest. Foraging is going to give me brain damage. Like, even, yeah, I, I did borrow an annihilation cloak. I... I just give it back and do something else. Foraging, it's not the move. I'm going to go insane. So I just found out something. I'm actually four museum donations away from having the max skyblock XP possible from the museum, and these appear to just not give you XP for some reason, so whatever, I guess. But there's a couple things we can donate. First of all, if you've seen my inventory, I've been messing around getting XYZs because we need something called Shimmering Light Armor, which needs those to craft it. It shouldn't be too bad. It really isn't a lot. I can just go grind it myself. The reason I'm grinding it, there's not on the AH. It'll be fine. But next is actually a tactical insertion, which is really cheap to craft. And considering I have Blaze 9, we might as well do it. It's like 100 mil cheaper. So for a tactical insertion, it's four tessellated ender pearls, eight inferno vertexes, and 48 molten powder, which really isn't all that bad. It's about 90 mil in total, 48 molten powder. Yeah, 28 mil. Just gonna go ahead and buy that. Then we need vertexes, which I actually dropped one of these myself earlier, but but we just need eight of those, I believe. Here's the bulk of the cost, 55 mil. And then test lead to ender pearls, we're just gonna need four of those. And 18 mil, which comes out to uh, around about 90 mil. And if we put this 
up in the top, if I can grab it. This in the middle and molten powder, we get a tactical insertion. And we can go to the rarity section and just donate that. Also something I'm thinking about doing is buying a bunch of the parts and getting a 655 in the forge. I... Hmm. Okay, let me look at something. So I do have all five slots, and if I were to go into here, you know, I probably could just level up Quick Forge all the way. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know how much exactly that will give me, but I definitely could do it. So yeah, let me just reset this. So at Quick Forge level 20, it would increase everything by 30%. Mm, I'm almost tempted to do that, but uh, what would the total Forge time be? So if I were to start from a 355, it would be a little less than two days. And oh, this one's 30 seconds. This one's also 30 seconds. And this one's also 30 seconds. So, so, oh, why are these so much more expensive on the AH than the actual craft price then? The actual craft price is half for the 555, it's 100 mil. What? So that's 22. That's 92. That's. So 22 plus 92, that would be about 114 plus 12, be 126. That is negligible. That is negligible. So it would end up being around 190 mil. It is still cheaper, but I don't think that's actually cheap enough for me to bother doing it right now. So my, my idea for that is foiled. I, yeah, I do not know why it's saying the craft cost is that low. It is not that low. But we do need an additional three donations, which one of those will probably be Diamond Hunter, which will be the last one, because I am doing Diamond Hunter. At least I should be. I, I do kind of want to buy a Claymore just to have one, but I don't know. Is there anything in here that I actually need? I do actually kind of need a 655 at some point, but I don't want to spend all my money on it. I think what we're going to do, we're just going to go for the cheapest. I think we're going to buy a Giant Sword. Giant Sword is 149 mil. We're just gonna buy it. Give it to me. Go get get in there. Thank you. Yeah, and now what we need is we need Shimmering Light Armor, which I will just be grinding out myself. So literally zero cost. But if we go in here, we have 20 Skyblock XP to claim, which should get me up to the next level. So let's just go ahead. 10 and 10, which gets us level 395. And we are now 13 XP into the next level. I also don't think the leaderboard is updated yet because I've gained 40 Skyblock XP and I'm still at 643. Also, I figured y'all would like to know, this is the goofy setup that I use for grinding these X's, Y's, Z's, whatever. The boots are pink. They're tarantula boots. I can just, they're, they're pink. They're pink. It, it's amazing. Okay, this should be everything. It, at least I hope. Now, I will need some mycelium cubes, I think. So two for the helmet, five for the chest plate, four and two. So I need 13 in total, which that's just going to be two mil. Yeah. And the helmet, we just need to put some stuff across the top. And it should just be two mycelium cubes. And the boots, we just need 50 in each. And there we go. And we get some boots. And for the chest plate, we need 10 Z. 30Y, an additional 30Y, and then we just put a little bit of enchanted mycelium or mycelium cube, whatever, and we get a tunic. And lastly, the pants, we just need to put the Z, split the Y, and then we put the mycelium up there, and we get the pants. And if we warp to the museum, we can just go ahead, go over here, go to the armor sets, and we can just plop that in there, and we will be getting an intermediate museum reward, which is 16 Skyblock XP, putting us at 31 out of a and yeah, now we only need one more, which I should get from doing Diamond Hunter. Oh, hey, Magma Slug 13. I only need another 5,000 kills. Aren't I lucky? I'm not going insane. You are. Hello, chat. I, I appear to have caught a Jabus. Uh, 1.2 mil HP. I can kill it. I did it. I, I didn't. I, I, I didn't get anything. Uh, well, I, I, okay, well, I did get Lord Jabba's 10. I, I will take that. It is currently 1 a.m. I don't feel like sleeping. I feel like bestiary grinding. And for that reason, I, I, I grabbed... I, gr I grabbed a monster. We're going to be your grind, but even better, I, I have the Inther mug. So yeah, because this is something that definitely needs to be included in the video, I will be putting monster inside of the Inther mug and drinking it on camera because that would be funny. Quite a lot of liquid actually fits in this mug.
Cool, it's time to beast your grind. So for this beast your grinding, I had a little bit of an idea. We go to the Crimson Isle. You will see in the top left, I have a golden fish timer because of course I've been golden fishing. I need that thing. But I only need to cast my rod every four minutes and 30 seconds. So my idea is just run around, kill stuff and do beast because I'm a little bit bored of actually fishing for it. But like every four minutes or so, I can just throw my rod, get a catch. And I, I don't even need an, I don't think I even need a catch. I think I just need to cast my rod into lava and that'll count as me fishing fishing, and I will be able to get golden fish out of that, while also doing Crimson Isle bestiary. So, efficiency, yes. Woo, caught a night 17, I think. I don't know, my work's paying off, whatever. 18, woo. Okay, I only need one more level now before I have caught a night's max, and I can move on to something else. Hello, chat. I have, in fact, hit caught a night 20. I can now grind another bestiary. Yippee. It's currently 2.38 a.m. Why am I awake? You know, I guess I am pretty close to maxing magma cubes. I'm not sure where the most efficient place to do that is. Probably just the pack magma cubes, though. Yeah, so I'll just keep grinding over here. Yep, there we go. Magma cube 20. Okay, what next? So, flare is out of the question. Ghast is locked to certain parts of the day. Macho is also locked to a certain time. Uh, so I could do mushroom bulls or tentacles. Either of those work. And these two I can probably do at the same time. I think we'll do mushroom bulls. Okay, I leveled up my mushroom bull bestiary. I'm going to bed. I appear to have awoken. In being awake, I must waste money. So looking at the bot here, ignoring all the pets things, since I already have the XP for those, they just aren't in my inventory right now. My cheapest XP is actually an Inferno Minion 3, and then next to that is 90 mil for the Mort Contact. So yeah, let's just do a little bit of stuff. So yeah, an Inferno Minion 3 is just 8 Molten Powder, which really not all that bad. And yeah, that's just 4 mil. So we just pick this up put this all here, and Inferno Minion 3, and then I think the Inferno Minion 4 is also fairly cheap. Yeah, it's just 16. So we just plop it in here, and surround it, Inferno Minion 4. And then I think we're gonna stop with the Inferno Minions right there, since they start getting really expensive and it just isn't really worth it. Next, we need to go to the Dungeon Hub, and I need to spend some money on the Mort Contact. I know this one's a little bit stupid, but... <laughs> Hello, Mort, are you lagging? Okay, so I need a saving grace, which, how do I get that? It's 16 enchanted golden apples surrounded by enderpearls. Interesting. Then we can just put the enchanted golden apples in the middle and surround it, and we get a saving grace, and then we can go click give saving grace, and I think next we need a spirit mask. Yep, spirit mask. Oh no. Which, these things are just a little absurd. There aren't any on the AHR there. Okay. I would give Mort mine, but it already has some stuff on it, and I don't know if I want to. I don't know. The stuff on it's fairly cheap, and I just want the Skyblock XP. I did. I'll buy another one later. Give Spirit Mask. Give me give me the Skyblock XP. Thanks. The Spirit Mask is still here. Can, can I not give him the Spirit Mask? Okay, let's try this one more time. The spirit Mask is still here. D does it have to be a non-co-op soulbound one? Uh, okay, I, I guess I'll have to wait for a little bit. Oh, wait, never mind. There are some on the AH. I, I was just clicking on the fragged ones. Hold on. G give me this. Yep, there we go. 90 mil. I just spent 90 mil on that. Oh, okay. Yeah, give me the spirit mask. Thank you. And, and now, can we can we do it? All right, option, give spirit mask. Oh, yep, there we go. Is more wearing a spirit mask now? My, my Abbey phone contacts are full. How would one go about getting more... Oh no. Well, I need to buy a new Abbey phone. I might need to upgrade my Abbey phone because I think I have all of the like upgrades in it. I have all the fairy things. Hold on, let me go to the hub and check. Okay, well, actually, I could be using a better Abbey case, which I think I will just do. This adds two contact slots, so 25,000 bits give me that. And where is my current Abbey case? Yeah, why am I even using the fishing wisdom one? Okay, but let me just recom this because, yeah, I'm gonna make this one my permanent Abbey case because I I just do not need the fishing wisdom one. That can go in there. And this one I'll put next to my foraging one. We'll worry about those later. And now, yep, there we go. More contact. That hurt a little bit. But now the only contact I'm missing is Trinity, which I could go grind out, but honestly, I'm not sure if I want to. It just is such a rare room and I'll get it eventually. If I get super down bad for XP, I might go get a party to go look for it. I don't know though. Yeah, and now my cheapest Skyblock XP is the snowman pet, I, I think unless I'm missing anything, which I don't think I am. A and, and then, yeah, Jacobus upgrades. This will be fun. So for this, we need a magic top hat, which 
Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, it's 25 mil. We'll just go ahead and buy that. And mm, my snowman's only level one. H how much would it be actually to just buy a level 100? <laughs> level 100 mythic is not worth it. And I, I, is there even a level 100 snowman on the AH? There is, but that's also not worth it. I'll just level it up myself. I don't need free time. All right, so take this out of my menu. We can go over to cat, put that in here, and there we go. Now we will need a cat flower because I am just not waiting. And take that and snowman. Now I will need to go grab some pets from somebody for the Skyblock XP because I did this off camera, but I borrowed an Inner Dragon and a Scatha for the XP because I did not feel like buying those, and I'll, I'll need to borrow them again for my pets for the update for me to actually get the XP from that. But we have it now, so whenever I do that, I, yes. And now the fun part. I get to spend 134 mil on Jacobus upgrades. Yay. Why is this my cheapest Skyblock XP? G give me the upgrades. I, I don't need money. Take my money. I don't want it. I, I need the XP. All of it. Please and thank you. I'm out of money. At least I'm 72% of the way to 100 XP now. Ah, oh, this is not good. I, I guess we go back to fishing for golden fish now. I'm out of, out of money. What, what do I do? Okay, someone might have bought my AH. So if we go in here, I, I can, yeah, 24 million coins. Hold on, you know, just g give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And, uh, <laughs> uh, oops, my bad. Oh boy, here I go job singing again. And it's dead. Ah, uh, I didn't get anything. I'm beginning to regret this whole fishing for diamond golden fish thing because uh, if I didn't do that, I'd probably be level 400 by now. I'm gonna be entirely honest. There's so many more XP efficient things I could be doing, but I had to promise to get diamond golden fish in my last video and now I'm doing that. I, I, I've probably been going for golden fish now longer than I actually spent trophy fishing for all other 17 diamonds. All 17 diamonds took me around 30 something hours. I've probably been golden fishing for like 45 and I don't like that. Anyway, I just hope I get it soon. I'm getting very tired of this. Oh, hey, and uh, with the server lagging considerably, I, I hit max Mugma collection, 4,000. Yay, I, I, I guess. I did, why are some of these so unbalanced? Like there's some of them that I completed so quickly and some of them that I'm like not even halfway done with. Um, oh! What? What? Oh! What? 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 Oh! What? Oh my god! Oh, what the f- Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, quick, we cut it. Quick, quick, uh, quick, quick. Uh, I had OBS open. <sighs> oh! Oh! That- Oh, that took so long! <laughs> oh, I'm lightheaded! I'm lightheaded! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god, okay. I need a break. I need a break. Oh. <laughs> I- I'm genuinely lightheaded. Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna deafen. Hold on. Uh, okay, now that I'm done overreacting, let's just go over this. First of all, once I swap lobbies, hold on, let me go to hub real fast. I should be the next level. It won't give me a level up message, but I should be. Yep, there we go. Level 396. We went up a level. Okay, okay. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. And uh, what else? Okay, so if I PV myself, first of all, this hasn't updated yet, but I did all of it in 12,000. I... Uh, I'm a little bit RNG carried, just a little bit. I guess we should go over the highlights of this. My first and most RNG carried fish, diamond volcanic stonefish in sub 20 catches. Love that. Same thing with Moldfin. I got diamond in sub 20 catches while doing dailies. I kind of did the same thing with steaming hot flounder and soulfish and skeleton fish. Slugfish. I hate myself. And uh, other than that, I Vanille got it really thick quickly. I was just really RNG carried. I apologize for my RNG. I sincerely apologize. Anyway, oh, there's some things we can do. Let's go back to the aisle, and oh, this is gonna be so nice. So up in Odgers, first of all, we can go ahead and take my gold hunter out, and we can upgrade a diamond hunter and salvage it for a bunch of money. So there we go. We also get diamond the fish, which, that why is that worth so much? Okay. And also, my Golden Tooth should have been upgraded. I believe it was. Yes, there we go. Odger's Diamond Tooth, which I will go ahead and take that out. But guys, 
This means I'm only missing one talisman, and for that, I just need to hit level 400, and then I will have max MP. Oh, just look at that. It's so nice. But also, since I did 10-star my hunter, what we can do is we can go to the dungeon hub, and we can do a little bit of salvaging and make a ton of money off of it. So if we just put all of this in here, I should be able to salvage it for 20 diamond magma fish. Yeah, just, just a little bit of money. And yep, there we go. Oh my goodness, that is so much magma fish. I, I feel like they went down in money a little bit. Nope, nope, never mind. That's a lot of money. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, give me a second. Oh, uh, yeah, also quickly, while I'm here, I need to go into here, and I need to put a magic vine enrichment on it. I, I will need to buy one. Hold on, let me let me put this fish away. And then I think this will actually be the last enrichment that I need. If I remember correctly, I, I think I already have the Book of Progression enriched. So once I enrich this, then yeah, I think that's every single enrichment. And this can just go in here, rearrange the talisman bag, and there we go. I also can go ahead and take my enrichments off of Sea Creature Chance and put them back on Magic Find. There we go, now my Magic Find will no longer be suffering. And now if we pick up Stash, cool, that's everything. We also have some Heavy Pearls, let me just put that away. And what is the difference of Sell Off? versus, oh, quite a lot. Yeah, we're just gonna sell off for those. We get 600 mil from that. That is insane. Okay. And then one last thing, we do need to warp back to the aisle, and we can finally finish off the museum. So if we go in here, and we go to the Lost Rewards shop, we can go ahead and buy another set of Diamond Hunter and put it in the museum. And once we put this in here, this should be the last XP from the museum. Yeah, all the rest of it is coming soon rewards, and yeah, that is all the museum XP. And after that, we're 14 out of 100 XP, which is, oh my goodness, okay, I'm so happy to have that over with. Now that I do have that over with, I can actually move on to doing some stuff that is actually efficient for Skyblock XP. My goodness. Oh yeah, I uh, may or may not have gotten 619. I, I really wanted 621. I, I wanted the funny number. So yeah, now that that's done, I can actually do some efficient things, which I believe right now, I really want to do some dungeon collections. So if we look in here, boss collection, yeah, I could probably just do some, like, pretty easy master mode floors and get some of these out of the way. Like, I could probably just do a bunch of M1. Yeah, I, I just, I, I, there's so much stuff I can just do. I'm probably going to start out with M2 since I'm pretty sure I can just solo that. And also, I might find Trinity while doing that. I can also do some of the Dungeon Death series during that. I should also mention that my voice is, like, a little bit hoarse from how loud I screamed and how much I screamed during that clip. But l let's just do some M2. Just give me a while. Oh. I'll cut back if anything interesting happens, I suppose, but I doubt it will. I'm just going to be sitting here running this. My first test, I actually get a scarf study, so those are actually a lot of profit. Wow. So currently on my last run, until I get a little bit of Skyblock XP, this really didn't take that long at all. Maybe like 40-ish minutes. Much better than like the 30-something hours it took me for Golden Fish. Uh, but, but yeah, no, give me one moment of Blood Rush. Yippee, invigorating gameplay, blood camping, all that stuff, yay. Oh, I only have 10 arrows left in my quiver. That could be problematic. Oh, uh, oh well, we'll deal with it. I, do I need arrows? I, we don't need arrows. <sighs> Who needs those things? Anyway, now we just do some nuking of things, and I, I'm definitely going to run out of arrows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we do some stuff that dies, and hello, would you like to die? Thank you. We do a little bit of a gyroing, if it'll- hello, gyro, thank you. I'm out of arrows. You know what? Just get get Hyperion. Get Hyperion. Uh, this, this, this isn't gonna work. I don't think this is gonna work. I, I need arrows. Okay, let's try this again. Anyway, everything gets to die now because I won't run out of arrows. It's amazing. And we just kill Scarf. Cool. And our collection should go up and we'll have something to claim. All right, there's that. Now if we go in here, boss collections. Yep, here we go. And I claim this inside of dungeons because it is a head, so I might as well get some enchants on it. And 15 Skyblock XP. Oh, and we get G6. Nice. And the next floor we're gonna do, I'm not sure. Actually, I might just keep doing floor two because I only need 50 for that. I don't want to do floor four. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep doing floor two, and then once I get it to 150, I'll do floor one. All right, so this is my last run. We've, uh, we're, we're blood camping. I'm totally helping. It should just be one more run, and then we get 
25 skyblock XP. These dungeon collections, they go really fast at the lower levels. All right, cool. That's it. We, we killed Scarf. Forgot to record it. It's whatever. But in about five seconds, I should have... Yep, there we go. We go in here and we get a boss collection, which that will be 25 skyblock XP and an adaptive blade. So go ahead and claim that. And yeah, the, the, this thing is 1.7 mil for some reason, but we are now 65 out of 100 XP. So now that that's over and done with, I think we're going to go back to doing M1. Some shenanigans and Tom Fuluy will occur. Y you see, the joke is because I'm a clown. I'm wearing a bonzo head. That That's why it's funny. Please laugh. I have just done about... I want to say around 50 M1s, and I'm a little brain dead. It's currently 3 in the morning. I don't remember when it got this late, but apparently it is. But I'm I'm on the last M1 run, and we'll, we'll get a little bit of Skyblock XP from it. And then after that, I believe we're moving on to M3. I'm not doing M4, even though it's the easiest one to do technically. It's just that one I would actually need a party for, and I can't be bothered to do that. And M3, I'm a bit closer than M2, so... Might as well. Also, M3 is really easy to solo, so I'm just going to do that. I just didn't record the entire boss fight. Y you see, I'm really tired, and I shouldn't be recording at this hour. I'm competent at this. My my camera's inside of a chest. It's fine. But we should have a recom and a little bit of Skyblock XP to claim. Yep, there we go. Recombobulator 3000, 25 Skyblock XP. I will absolutely take that. And now we are 92 out of 100, and we can take off this stupid clown mask and we will be moving on to M3. So it's been a little bit about, again, about 50 runs of M3, but last one. I just need to clear, do things, stuff like that. And I don't think I'm running out of arrows this time. Hopefully not. Maybe. Possibly. I, I don't know. I can't check. You also may have noticed that my texture pack randomly changed and I said nothing about it. This is because I'm competent at recording and my ADHD made me get bored or defrosted while doing this, so I wanted something else to look at. You're welcome. Okay, I may actually run out of arrows. I have, in fact, run out of arrows, and now I gotta do this whole thing again. Give me a second. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, cool. And now, the basis of the M3 boss fight. I shoot this, then that, then that, then that, and then this guy dies. That's about it. Yeah, I, I, I kind of am a little bit overkill for M3. I'm pretty sure I like three tap these or something. I don't know. They're, they're all dead now. Then we use this funny little flower and just freeze this guy in place so I can, you know, beat him down a little bit faster. I, I in fact, missed. Hold on. Give me a moment. And you, you know what? A gyro works just fine. It, it, yeah. And now we do a little bit of ice spraying and yep, there we go. We will now be getting Skyblock XP. While we're waiting for the animation to finish, uh, this is going to get me to the next level. I'm 8 XP off. So yep, there we go. If we go into collections, boss collections, we now have a Recombobulator 3000 acclaim as well as 25 Skyblock XP, which there we go, 397. And we're now 17 out of 100 XP. I'm now going to go revisit M2 and get 250 comps in that, and then I might just get a party for M4. I don't like M4 because I can't solo it, but I might just go get a party for it because it's decent money anyways, and I, I might as well. So yeah, last run of M2 before I can move on to something else. It's 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 fun. I definitely haven't been awake for like way too long, and I'm definitely not drinking a monster at 1 a.m. No, 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 no. That, that, that isn't me. It's, it's someone else, actually. Please send help. I'm not okay. Anyway, I guess on last run, might as well see if I can dialogue skip because that's fun and interesting to do. So wait for the first one to spawn, track it a little bit, make sure it dies, and now we just go hide in the corner. So one spawn, two and three and now we just murder all of them and that oh, there we go yep dialogue skip it wasn't like a full dialogue skip it got out the very nice but it was most of it and into the portal we go and now we just do a little bit of ice spraying things like that and this guy will uh, end up on the floor give me a moment hello scarf would you like to die it would be absolutely amazing if you would I would appreciate it very much. Yep, there we go. And once all this finishes out, we should be able to go into here, boss collections, and yep, there we go. We have a recom to claim, as well as 25 Skyblock XP, which will be putting us at 45 out of 100. Now, before I go and get an M4 party, which I'm not sure if I'll do tonight, considering it's pretty late, I, I want to go get the last contact that I'm missing. So if we go into here, and we go to... How, how do I sort this? Contacts direct to... You know what I mean? Not added. Trinity. Usual location. Dungeon. Now, what I can do is, first of all, we'll just put my diamond head back on because the head that I'm using will not matter. And if we warp into an F7, there's this funny little trick that I can do. Or if you didn't know, if a dungeon has five puzzles, then it should have a rare one by one. So I can hit tab and... Uh, well, wouldn't you know it? It has five puzzles. 
levels. So I would want to go in and clear this entire dungeon and see if it has the Trinity one by one. Basically, I'm just gonna cycle dungeons. If it has five puzzles, I'll go clear it and see if it has Trinity. If it doesn't, then I will just go cycle into a new dungeon. And I'll just keep doing that until I eventually find Trinity. Okay, so rare one by one, but I don't think it's Trinity. I'm... Yeah, I don't think this is Trinity. This is a tragedy. Uh, it, okay, well, at least we got one. Yeah, this is the lever one by one, which I don't think is Trinity. Uh, it's it's a rare one by one, but it isn't Trinity. Okay, we keep searching, I guess. It's, it's the same rare one by one? It's the same rare one by one. It's the same one? Why? No. Okay, so I've been at this for a couple hours, and we, we found two rare rooms, and... It, it's it's 3 a.m. I, I think I'm gonna continue this tomorrow when I have a little bit more brain power. I'm either going to best your grind and not sleep currently or sleep. One of those is clearly the better option, but I'm not sure which I'm gonna choose because I'm just built like that. And yeah. Okay, well, actually, quickly before I go to bed, I've come to make some terrible financial decisions. I have 453 mil, and uh, I, I think you know what I'm gonna do. It's it's all going into Jacobus. It, yeah, just give, give me a moment and a couple bad financial decisions later and we'll have some skyblock xp and i don't know hopefully 298 down below 200 mil now i'm slightly regretting my decisions currently majorly regretting my decisions actually i don't know why i'm doing this and we can afford one more and we we just bought 22 upgrades and i'm 93 out of 100 okay do do i do i really want to sleep i kind of want 398 tonight do, do, should i just go find some way to get seven sky I have luck XP. Maybe I'll just do bestiary. Give me a moment. Yeah, I, I think I might just need to do bestiary. Anything that actually gives sizable chunks of XP is going to take like a very, very big grind, and I don't feel like doing that right now. So let me get like an easy combat bestiary to do. Oh, uh, there's one. Honestly, I could probably just do the deep cavern bestiaries. I've done barely any on these, and it, yeah, it should be too hard. So I'm very much so regretting staying up. It's been about another hour. It's nearly 4 a.m. now, but I'm one XP off, and we're just gonna go slap some redstone pigmen for a second. Uh, there we go. It didn't give me a level up message for whatever reason. We'll just go to hub, and it should update, but there. There we go, 398. Uh, everything hurts. Well, I just found another room that isn't Trinity. I know it's the rarest one, but like, I found four so far, gotten unlucky. I don't even know where the secret is in this one, uh, but I don't know, I guess I keep searching. So, I spent about a total of around five to six hours, I'm not even sure now, just searching for Trinity. And I, I think I should just move on to something else. This is inefficient, and I might either do some like farming stuff or just more best theory. I don't know, we'll see what my brain can handle at the moment. So like, I'm just playing Hypixel in class, right? Ignoring my schoolwork. I look up in the tab, missing four levels. Went from 398 to 394. Realized that Taming 60, it, it got deleted. It's back now, but I had a heart attack. Like, I, I went up here and that said 394, and I was about ready to just break my keyboard. I, I am not okay. So I was just told that in this update, and, and yeah, I, I'm just logging on in the middle of schoolwork to do this. But apparently they added uh, a new set, which also increases the cap of the museum, meaning I can get another 10 XP. And I believe it should be called the Fisherman set. Uh, I'm not sure what it's in. I don't think it's been added to any of you yet. It's probably in here though. So Prismarine Necklace, that's new. I don't know. It's probably in one of these collections. Let me just find it. So apparently it's in the Clay Sponge Prismarine Shard and Clownfish collections, which is weirdly specific. So, okay. So if we go into clay, we have the clay bracelet. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, it's a bunch of equipment, not armor set. So we go into here and we just, I don't know, fill my inventory with clay. And then we just craft a bunch of clay blocks. And yeah, I bought way too much clay. It, it's fine. And then I need enchanted clay, right? Yep, there we go. And then we get a clay bracelet. And then clownfish collection. We have the clownfish cloak, which it's really cheap. I just need two stacks of, of clownfish and three enchanted clownfish. So buy three of these, for, like no coins. And then two stacks of these. And clownfish cloak. Then we also have the sponge belt, which is six enchanted sponge. Okay, so six of these. And then also just a 
stack of regular sponge. And there we go, sponge belt. And then we just need the prismarine necklace, which is going to be four enchanted prismarine shards and whatever that other one is. And that should be everything. And yep, there we go. Now, if we go in here, donate it to the museum, we will now be getting an additional 10 skyblock XP. Very nice. So I really need to be doing M4 right now because that's probably the best and fastest XP I can grind. But I've been doing bestiary because I cannot be bothered to get an M4 party. And because I don't want to make this bestiary grinding boring, just be like, oh, hey, look, I got a level every time I get a bestiary level. I, I don't know, editing me can montage it or something. Have fun with that. So we're getting pretty close to like the last bestiary milestone that we need and oh goodness it, it's just gonna be a couple more kills and then i'm done it's currently 4 a.m i want to go to bed but i decided to stay up and do like uh, i don't know 60 bestiary levels because i felt like it and as you can tell i have an amazing sleep schedule uh, but we only need nine more kills so the next time they spawn we should have it all right there we go we killed those this one this one and there we go rain slime 12 which will bring us up to well if we swap lobby so it updates that will bring us all the way up to 90 out of 100 xp and then if we come over here and we just have a million combat experience and 10 skyblock xp to claim so give me a second let me swap my pet over to the skeleton and we will just go ahead and claim this and we will get 10 skyblock xp and a million combat xp did it did it oh i don't get the level up message it's it's doing that thing hold on yeah I, i'm level 399 but it didn't give me the level up message that is unfortunate but we're only one level off and i think i'm gonna get most of it with m4 but before that i'm going to bed i can't be bothered to do this right now so i've done the funny thing called waking up yippee and yeah we're gonna do some m4 now my current plan is I have 51 comps, meaning I should need to do about 91 comps in order to get to 250, which I can probably do in a couple hours, but that will give me 55 XP. And then I might go for 400, I have no idea. But from the money that I make from that, I might genuinely just be able to buy some stuff and get to 400, so we will see what happens. I also just found out that apparently the bot is not detecting my plots because genuinely this is much better priced to Skyblock XP than Jacob's is. Not by a ton, but it is better. Uh, yeah, if I, if I need to upgrade stuff, I think we'll do this. Oh, I got a, I got a star second run. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I got... I got another star. Uh, yeah, I, I got a third star. This, I'm very carried. Okay, no, 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 no. Fourth star. <laughs> the next run, I've gotten two stars in a row. So, we're on the last M4 run until... I think it's 100? I don't know. Means I've done about 25, I want to say. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get a little bit of XP after this run. Okay, cool. In the boss, just place three decoys, and now we sit here, and we just hold right-click for uh, about 30 seconds, and yeah, this is all the M4 boss is. I'm, I'm just sitting here, pressing shift a lot, and holding right-click, and, and, and that's it. Give me a minute. We, we get absolutely nothing, but we go in here, boss collections, we will be getting a golden thorn head, which claimed that, and it has one star. But we do get 15 skyblock XP, and now we need, uh, you know, another 25 runs to get thorn three. Oh god, finally, star. Yeah, it was like 8,000 score. Oh, W, six, six, star, another star. So, I've been doing a little bit of dungeons. You know, may or may not have done, like, 60-something runs of M4, and yeah, now we're gonna do an F4 because this being uneven is going to annoy me. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna solo in F4 real fast. It won't take very long at all. all right, and blood has been cleared, and now I simply just sit in the portal. Also, ignore that my texture pack has, like, randomly changed about three times in this video. It's a completely and totally normal thing, and I'm definitely a good YouTuber, and keeping stuff consistent. But yeah, this really won't be too bad. I just need to go shoot a bunch of mobs and spirit bears, they spawn, things like that. And then I found out recently that you can actually stun Thorm with the salvation ability on term. So yeah, it's actually really easy to solo. You just do, do that and oh wow, I shot him. 
There we go. It really is not difficult. And I think we only have one more shot left. We just need the spirit bear to spawn. There it is. And stun and shoot it. And there we go. And cool. So now if we go into my collections, boss collections, Thorn, we will be able to claim a recom and and no we won't. Wrong wrong one. Spirit, short bow, and 15 skyblock XP. And we're now sitting at 33 out of 100. Now the crazy thing is that M4 is actually like really profitable and I think I made about 200 mil during that. I mean, if we look over here, I've dropped I think like six stars and a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff, like five recoms, a bunch of different things. I'll go through that later, but I think I made like 200 mil from that. I'm gonna reinvest it in Skyblock XP. I make good financial decisions. Uh, so I just went into this inner chest page and did a double take. This is all the non rerolled stuff that I've done. I'm gonna go reroll all my other chests that weren't really profit, but 171 mil from just stuff that I didn't reroll. Just straight profit from runs. 171, like that is ridiculous. My goodness. Okay, let me go spend some money on Kismets. So in this chest is everything that I've rerolled, uh, I will just say I spent about 50 mil on Kismets. And, well, if we look in this chest, 277 mil. Yeah, I made a little bit of money. J just just a little bit. Tiny amount, really. And also it's good XP. So yeah, I'm just gonna get this all sold, and then I think we're just gonna spend all of this on XP. So I just got back from work, and all of my stuff has sold. So I've now got 261 mil in the purse, and we're gonna go spend all of it. First of all, we're gonna go to the garden and just, it, it's plots time. These things give a decent chunk of XP, and I'm just gonna max them out. I should have enough for that. So we just need a bunch of compost bundles. I think we'll start out with like 10, and that's only 35 mil. Yeah, that's not even bad. And so for this one, we get five skyblock XP, and oh, the amount of compost actually goes up. Interesting. So we need another two, and we get this one, which is also so five skyblock XP. And now we have everything but the corners unlocked. I'm pretty sure eight compost bundles for five XP. That's about on par with doing Jacobus in terms of efficiency. So I guess I might as well because they also give me farming fortune. So eight of these would be 28 mil and buy the corner. And oh, it goes up again. I, I guess we might as well buy 10. So it'd be 35 mil and buy the corner. And then it jumps to 12, which at that point, it just simply is not worth it anymore. Yeah, let's go do Jacobus. Hello, Jacobus. Would you like to just take more of my money? Yep, just get, give me all the slots. Give them to me. I think I can buy another five, maybe, possibly. I, I also just realized I was meant to put some of this back in my bank. I, I don't, I don't, I... Uh, okay, this can go back in my bank. I just realized I accidentally dipped into my G-Drag bank because I dipped into my G-Drag bank to buy Kismets and I was going to put it back in there. And I forgot about that. And now I'm 30 mil in debt to myself. What have I done? So now I just need to figure out what exactly am I going to do for the last 37 XP? And I guess ways to level up. So what I really hate is that there's like no easy XP left for me to do. It's all like obscenely long grinds that I realistically cannot do tonight. And what I hate even more is that my two best ways and fastest ways to get XP is probably either doing McGrubber's Burgers or Powder Grinding. I mean, I guess I could also do best dairy, but like that's boring and I'm making a video here. To be fair, Powder Grinding is also boring and so is Burgers, but you know what? I haven't Powder Grinded in a while and it's brainless. So let's just do that. So I, I don't I don't care what happens. I'm, I'm getting level 400 tonight. I I don't care if I don't sleep. I have, I think, 35 monsters in my fridge, which equates to, I'm not good at math, a lot of caffeine, and I will be getting level 400 tonight. Now, I guess, quick update, because I don't feel like montaging this, I'm currently at 72 out of 100 XP. When I started powder grinding, I was at, I think, 62, so I've gotten about 10 XP so far, and... Yeah, this is kind of slow and grueling, but uh, I'm hoping to just do this for a while until I eventually get bored and find something else to do. So I've been doing a little bit of powder grinding. Ignore the people standing around me. They're, they're, just, they're, just, they're just spectating. This is a monumentous occasion, as many would say. But yeah, I've been doing some powder grinding. I went all the way from about 60-ish XP to 86, but now... We're gonna finish this up. Someone kindly donated me 137 mil, and well, we're just gonna go over to Jacobus, and we're gonna finish off level 400. So 20 million coins to Skyblock XP, another 20 million. We're up to 90 out of 100. An additional 20, another 20, another one, and one more. And now we're two XP off. And if we go into my bank and we withdraw, I don't know. We'll just do 10 mil, and I'll worry about even numbers later. But 20 million coins. If we click this, we will get level 400. And there it is. Oh my god, it's playing like music? Oh, that's so funny, actually. Chat, I'm level 400. Oh, it looks so nice. It looks so nice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta go to show own name tag. We're gonna boost my ego. Level 400 red name. Yo. 
<laughs> it looks so good. Oh, it's nice. It's so nice. I, I I don't know. I thought that would be a, a more monumentous occasion. I, I I now just need to give some stuff that I borrowed back. So it's currently 1.35 a.m. And I realized that I've been doing Diana for like two hours. I even sought my texture pack, all that stuff. And I, I, I didn't check to see if I had the Mythic Book of Progression. I, I, I don't. Uh, how exactly do I upgrade this? Do I need to claim it? Oh. Oh, it, it, it auto-upgraded. Congratulations, your book of progression has been upgraded to Mythic. Okay, and now I'm finally done. I, I realize that I entirely forgot that, and, and this can just go in the talisman bag in. Cool, six Skyblock XP, that's a thing. But the biggest thing now, I have max MP. 1,588. And yeah, that's about it. I, I don't know if you're expecting some grand exit or something. Nope, I hit level 400. I'm getting out of here. Video's over. Go home. Uh, but, but in all serious, like, like, subscribe, all those things. This took an obscenely long time to make, and I've been editing for the past four days nonstop. I also may or may not have not slept while editing this. Go subscribe. It would greatly help me out. Do it. Anyway, there should be a video on my face. I like it. You should go watch it. It's good. At least people say so.